am Susmita, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how to perform Amazon Elastic Container Service blue-green deployments using AWS Code Deploy. Let's get started. Before we begin, we need to have the following prerequisites. One, an ECS cluster. Two, a Docker image repository with the image. Three, the image repository and the cluster must be created in the same AWS region. Let's break down our steps in this video into five parts. Setting up the AWS Identity and Access Management Service roles. Creating the application load balancer. Creating the Amazon ECS task definition. Creating the Amazon ECS service with blue-green deployments. Verifying that it's working. Setting up the AWS Identity and Access Management service rule. Before you can use the code deploy blue-green deployment type with Amazon ECS, the code deploy service needs permissions to update your Amazon ECS service on your behalf. Here are the steps to create the service role. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the IAM Console. In the Navigation pane, choose Roles. Select Create Role. For the option, Select Type of Trusted Entity section, choose AWS Service. Next, select Code Deploy as the service and Code Deploy ECS as the use case. On the Policies view, leave the suggested managed policy AWS Code Deploy for ECS. This contains all the permissions necessary for Code Deploy to interact correctly with ECS and other services. Choose the next option. For the add tags, which is optional, enter a tag name. When finished, choose the next review when finished. For the role name, enter ECS code deploy role and choose create role. Creating the application load balancer. In the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 console. In the Navigation pane, under Load Balancing, choose Load Balancers. Choose Create Load Balancer. In the Select Load Balancer type page, choose Application Load Balancer. Enter the name of the load balancer. In the VPC section, select the VPC where the ECS cluster is created and any two subnets with access to the internet. The next page takes us to the security groups section. For security group name, enter the name sample security group. Add an additional rule to allow TCP port 8080 from anywhere. In the next stage, under Configure Routing section, enter the name of the target group. For the target type, choose Register your targets with an IP address. Because we are performing the deployment on the AWS Fargate type service, skip the targets section. Creating the Amazon ECS task definition. From the AWS Management Console, navigate to the ECS Console. Select the task definition. For the sake of this video, because we are using the Fargate launch type, 
create the task definition as provided in the article linked below. Creating the Amazon ECS service with blue-green deployment. From the AWS Management Console, navigate to the ECS Console and then select the ECS Cluster. Select the Create Service option. Select Fargate as the launch type. For the task definition, choose the task definition that we created earlier. For the service name, enter Sample Website. For number of tasks, specify the number of tasks that you want your service to run. Under the Deployments section, select the blue-green deployment. Then, it asks us for the service role. Select the ECS code deploy role created earlier. The next page takes us to the Configure Network Setup. Choose the VPC, subnets, and the security groups you want to use for your service. Under Load Balancing, select the Application Load Balancer. Choose the Load Balancer that we created previously. Under the Container to Load Balancer, choose Add to Load Balancer. We'll now add two listeners, that is, the production listener and test listener. For production listener port, choose 80 HTTP from the drop down list. For the test listener port, enter port 8080. Now it's time to select the target groups that are needed. As already known, blue-green deployments need to have two target groups. Under additional configuration for target group 1 name, choose the target group that we created while creating the load balancer. Target group 2 name, create a new one in the ECS console and enter the name sample website TG2. Service discovery is optional, so we are skipping it for this video. We are not using auto scaling for this video, so don't configure auto scaling. Choose next step. Choose create service. You should now see your newly created service with at least one task running. In the Code Deploy console, we can see that the Configure Service Wizard has created a Code Deploy application for you. If we select the deployment group, we can view other details about the configuration. Under the deployment type, we can see blue-green. Under the deployment configuration, we can see Code Deploy default dot ECS all at once. To verify the image, navigate to the Application Load Balancer console. Select the Application Load Balancer URL and open the URL in the browser. We see that the Nginx image is working on the ECS service. Verifying that the Amazon ECS blue-green deployment is working. After creating the blue-green ECS service, we can create a new task definition with the changes and then update the ECS service. This creates a deployment in the Code Deploy console. Let me walk you through the steps. First, let's create a new revision of the task definition. From the AWS Management Console, Navigate to the ECS console and then select the task definition. Select the task definition and then create a new revision. 
For this example, I am changing the image to httpd. Now, choose the ECS cluster where we have the ECS service deployed. Choose Update to open the Update Service Wizard. Under the Configured Service, for the task definition, choose the latest revision that we just created from the revision drop-down list. Skip all the remaining steps about network, auto-scaling and so on and then update the service. Choose View Service. You can choose the deployment ID and go to the details view for the code deploy deployment. This process takes a while, so I'll talk about the process happening here. First, code deploy calls create task set API to create the replacement task set. You can confirm this behavior using AWS Cloud Trial. Let's check for these calls in Cloud Trial. This means that we create a new task set and update the service using the new task definition. Next, ECS creates a replacement task set. AWS service role for ECS, not code deploy, calls register targets API to attach the replacement task set to the green target group. Code deploy starts to read out traffic to the replacement task set. In the backend, code deploy calls modify listener API to read out traffic and code deploy calls update service primary task set API to change the primary task set. By default, code deploy waits one hour after a successful deployment before it terminates the original task set. For the purpose of this video, I am skipping this step by choosing the Terminate Original Task Set option. When you choose Terminate Original Task Set button, Code Deploy starts to terminate the original task set. Let's verify this by checking the cloud trail events. Code deploy calls delete task set API to terminate the original task set. Then AWS service role for ECS, not code deploy, calls the deregister targets API to detach the original task set from the blue target group. When the deployment is complete, I can verify it by navigating back to the Application Load Balancer console. Select the Application Load Balancer URL and verify that the HTTPD page appears. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>